what a view. I love painting. But why am I painting rocks? I blame Mark Lee. He told me to do it. Hi, Howie. How's it going? Hi, Mark. Why am I painting rocks? Well, you wanted to investigate what happens to rocks when they get weathered. Well, they'll get washed away. Yeah, but where do they go to? That's the big question. We'll place the pebbles on the beach now, we can see the tide come in, and we'll see where they've moved after the tide. We lined up the painted stones between two posts. Next, we added some boulders, which we also marked. OK, let's go. Then, all we had to do was wait for the tide. All along the beach, there's evidence of erosion. The sea wears big boulders, smaller and smaller. The boulders themselves are made of mud, sand and pebbles. The mud and sand are washed away by the sea, releasing stones. The tide waits for no one, and the sea soon set to work to move sand and stones. Whilst the tide was in, Mark showed me what was at the end of the road on top of the cliff. Whoa, that's pretty dramatic stuff. How fast is this cliff eroding? Well, it can be up to about 20 metres in a single year. So the bit of road that we're standing on now, within a couple of months, could join the rest of it right down there at the bottom of the cliff. So the cliff is where the rocks come from in the first place. Five hours later, the tide had gone out. Right, this is where we set the stones up. And there's only two left, and even they've moved, what, half a metre? I wonder where the others are. Who's going to go and look for them? Hmm. Mark, I've got one! It's travelled 50 metres! I guess that's because it's smaller. Right, but the smaller stuff is the sand and the mud, and that gets moved too. Look! You can see it in the sea. The sea is brown with mud and sand, clawed from the beach and cliffs, already on the next part of its journey. 